things you will need. You'll need a quarter inch socket, a ratchet, Phillips, eight millimeter long or short, doesn't really matter, and a 932nd uh, socket. And you'll also need a 12 millimeter wrench if you have the AutoZone special uh, battery terminals and a brain fart. First off guys, you want to disconnect the negative battery cable. That's the cable pad. It's right there. Just disconnect it. It's like cheap insurance. Usually nothing ever happens, but whatever. It takes two seconds, right? All you need is a uh, 12 millimeter socket. It's upside down. But it's a 12. And uh, we're good to go. And then you're going to have, we have to move this. That's okay. It's basically clip on. You just pull it off. You pull it up and I'll show you guys. Okay, so the battery cable is removed. Just push it to the side right there. This is really easy. You just, uh, put the on. there we go. Just put it like right here. By the way, make sure the car is cold. I, I'm assuming that's pretty obvious. For obvious reason, the headers get stupid hot. And uh, disconnect this. Sometimes sometime it needs a little persuasion, but don't force it. There we go, and it comes out. And uh, yeah. So next guys, after you've done these two things right here, you uh, take this guy out. It's really easy, just grab it, that's it. And then uh, you're gonna have to take these screws out right here. And there is one, let's see, back back here if you can uh, see it that one but in general there's three screws just look at the cap there's three of them okay so to take these screws out all you need is a what focus eight millimeter socket oh fuck an eight millimeter socket uh, I think this is like a quarter of an inch um, but yeah, really easy. That's all you have to do. Turn towards the distributor. And uh, that goes for the same about all of them. Okay, so there's one right here. Never force this. Keep in mind that it is plastic. There we go. Okay. Okay, so now we're to the um, ignition rotor. These have to come off. This cover and this right here. This is really easy. It only goes on one way. You just pull it off. And this is a little plastic thing. You just, uh, like that. Pull this off. See, one way. Pull that off. I'll put it somewhere. Don't let it break. Because even though if it does break, it's really cheap. Um, See? Really easy. And, uh, now, we're going to have to take this off. Uh, there's going to be a little gasket right here. Um, I'm going to reuse it. Anyway, so uh, just a regular Phillips head will do. Boom, 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 boom. Go star pattern because with the new one, well, I guess the old one doesn't matter much. But especially with the new one, keep in mind this is aluminum. And uh, you don't want to replace the distributor because... For no damn reason so just be careful with it Jesus, cool. Jesus, I was stuck. Be careful not to strip these. That would be annoying. And it's really easy. Same process. Get it. And, uh, turn down. It's really straightforward. Okay. Now, when you put these back on, Look, inside the strip. When you put these back on, um, make sure these two right here, these two, turn.
terminal. I just dropped the ignition rotor. Not a big deal. Uh, these two posts go on the top terminal of the distributor when you put it on, which will be the one closest to the top of the distributor. And this one goes on the bottom post of the ignition coil. So these two, top of the bottom post of the ignition co coil, this one the bottom post of the ignition coil. It's kind of self-explanatory because this one won't stretch all the way up. Just an FYI, if you look inside your distributor and you see oil, uh, <laughs> you probably you need a new uh, seal, or these days it may be easier just to replace the whole distributor. Just an FYI. Now, when you put this back on, it's basically the reverse of everything that just happened. Uh, but make sure the surface is clean. See all this like schmutz? Uh, it's probably, I wouldn't use a rag or anything. I would just lose like a swipe it down it's just like some uh, pasty shit like glue I, I don't know it's like inhibitor or whatever who knows it's in the car. anyway so uh yeah just make sure you like wipe that down use like uh i wouldn't say soap and water but it's just like rubber you honestly could probably scratch it off with your nail um but if you get it looking decent like this don't worry about it just put it on um but yeah here's a new part uh 9397 Toyota Corolla ignition coil. Um, 11 bucks off Amazon. I'll leave the part number and the link in the description below. Uh, yeah, $11. Cheap. No reason to bitch about replacing this. It's really easy and it's a cheap part. See? The opposite of basically everything I just showed you. Uh, it's really strong for me. It's windy. It's OD windy in the air today. Holy shit, that is scary, dude. The way it was moving the fucking hood. Okay, that's good. Uh, so yeah, everything opposite what I just showed you. Tighten these up. Don't go crazy. Just snug them up. And uh, everything is the same with everything. Alright, like I said before. Remember how this has a flat lip on it? It only goes on one way. So if you look at this. The flat, oh, hold on. The flat lip is going to be on that metal part. So we just go like this, but we have to put this back on first, which is really, hold on, really, 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 really easy. All you do is uh, get it. All you do is get it and snap it on. See, all done. So now this part flat part like this I'll check your work make sure she's all she's all good by the way make sure this gasket is on the old one make sure you take it off and put it on the new one it may break but if it breaks not a big deal just still if it's not like dry rotted or anything just make sure it's uh on. anyway now let's put on the cap by the way, um, when you do this, it's a good idea to inspect your cap. My cap's pretty good. I replace it every three oil changes, but um, if it's all burnt and like, let's say that stuff, those poles are broken, and this, let's say, just push it in. If it doesn't come back up, it needs a, you need a new one. They're really cheap. I think they're like less than 20 from AutoZone. If you want to be cheaper, go to Amazon. Probably find it for 10 or seven, but yeah. This part I'm not gonna show. It just, you just put the screws back in, you took out from the distributor in the first place. Uh, that's really it with that one. Okay, so everything's all ready to go. Cap is tight. Again, snug these up. This is only plastic. Uh, now all you do now is uh, get this right here. You heard that clip? That's how you know it's in some cars if it's really, really old and brittle got mad miles on it you may not clip anymore but uh just make sure you as snug as you can and, hey if all fails zip tie zip tie tight uh, now uh by the way i'm not you're not really supposed to do this but if you ever do do this because i always got stuff in my battery just make sure it's not touching the post or your uh you see what happened there now all you do is put the negative terminal back on and Make sure everything's good. Cool. 
Now, make sure engine bay is clean of everything. Oh, I just forgot. Sometimes maybe a little tricky to get in, but always oh, going to All right, let's start her up. Okay, sorry for the glare. So let's start up and see. All good. Casey, nice that thumbs up. So, if you like what you see, please subscribe and kumbaya.